This is the BenQ EW2770QZ monitor. So, the BenQ EW2770QZ is a series LED backlit monitor and also in French. It features eye care and it's a 27 inch 68.5 centimeters and down the bottom here we have E2E bezel edge to edge I'm guessing that means 100% sRGB quad HD 2560 by 14.4 and we've got some other gubbins across here we have HDMI mentioned there and pretty much the same on the back. So we're going to rip her open here and have a first delve in. So inside the box we get an HDMI cable. It looks like it's been looked at before so there may be some bits and pieces missing. I've noticed that of various monitors in the past. We also get a European plug. We get a stand. We'll have a look at the stand actually. This is plastic, grey plastic, just to be a bit more stylish than normal. Around this side we have a metal underside, a few rubber feet, and the locking screw. Here we have another part of the stand. We see this bit links into that, and then on the top here we have a tilt, which is spring-loaded. We put that in there and turn this around to achieve a lock. And then this looks like it might actually be screwless. Or does this piece come off? Difficult to ascertain. So here is the screen itself. There is a button here that looks to be some form of release that pulls down these little feet to allow the stand to clip in. How very simple. And that's us attached. So, on the back here you can see we have the controls for the on-screen display with the power button at the bottom. None of these are labelled, so obviously it just works on touch. Press the button and the menu should tell you what it's doing. Moving this down like so allows us to see the ports. We have another on off switch, the power connector, two HDMIs, the digital in, DIN, DIN, and then a headphone socket here. There's also a Kensington lock over this side and down here it looks like there is some form of LED. We have a cable tidy at the bottom of the stand and then we turn around and have a look at the front and it's ooh, ah, very nice. So this is our edge to edge display. You can see there's the tiniest little black line between the actual bezel and the screen. Then here we have what looks to be some form of infrared panel, which is a sent. This is a sensor that is the Brightness Intelligent Plus technology built into it that optimizes the display def the, the display performance based on movie watching and protecting your eyes whilst delivering the best quality image that they can find or do. So in the evenings, this will essentially detect that the light levels are going down and it'll adjust the screen appropriately. Might also be able to work out what is actually being displayed on the screen and adjust the levels appropriately once again. It's essentially it's an ambient light sensor. It's pretty big if you think there's one of those in the top of your phone. However, just to antagonize someone who was uh, on the comments of one of my previous screen unboxings, this is kind of more a high-end screen. It's not a cheap budget one. It's £492 on Amazon currently. So you are 
paying quite a bit of money for the screen and I would say that that is not a budget screen. They would probably argue otherwise, but then that's the YouTube comments for you. So that uh, mount around the back is a Visa wall mount. We have 100% sRGB, smart focus, which allows you to pinpoint an area on the screen and make that the focal point. Sounds like interesting technology. It's got flicker free built in, low blue light tech with five different modes, standard multimedia, web surfing, office and reading, and it's a full IPS panel, as opposed to a portion of an IPS panel. I don't know why I said full, sorry. However, according to the energy rating, it's rated D, which I thought was quite interesting. The response time black to black is 12 milliseconds. Gray to gray is four milliseconds. So what we'll do is we'll go and get this plugged in. I'm going to use this as my main display. I'm going to have to give it a little bit of a dust because it's looking a bit grimy. Fingerprints all over the show. I wish I could frame it so that you could see everything, but uh, we'll, we'll do a quick sweep around and try and keep focus as much as possible. Ooh, wasn't that smooth? I know what you're thinking. He should be a steady cam operator, but yeah. So we'll get it all plugged in. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, if there's anything you want me to particularly test in the review. Hit that subscribe button, give me a wee thumbs up if you fancy. And other than that, take care.